Last fall, I took a eight-week uh, product development basics class. Um, it was a very convenient way for me to get some needed knowledge um, that I felt would help our organization. I had been studying lean, um, pretty much anything I could find on the topic for since 2007, I would say. And fairly early on in that process, I stumbled upon Catherine's website and I was struck by the quality of the information provided there. Uh, her willingness to share. I think at this time she was she was publishing journals, you know, her travel journals and random thoughts and she had reading lists and it was all very helpful to me as someone trying to get a handle on just what is this lean stuff about and how might it impact my organization and my role as director of continuous improvement. And so um, I saw the class um, being promoted and I was looking to learn what is lean applied to product development? What is product development? Because our organization is an architectural engineering firm. We don't think of ourselves as developing products. We're providing a professional service, which is different in some aspects, but there's also a lot of similarity. And I had studied what I could on lean manufacturing, which wasn't a really good fit for our organization. Um, and I thought there might be some promise with lean product development, but I really knew there were some gaps in my understanding of just what that meant and thought, based on what I had seen previously of the quality of her information sharing, that this course would probably make sense. And I was able to uh, get that approved and participate, and I'm very glad I did. I learned a lot. It answered a lot of questions I had about um, how lean can be applied to a process that is largely a design function, uh, which is certainly what we're dealing with in my organization. Um, it also helped clarify what some of the differences were between our situation and a typical product development environment. Um, so I was able to gain that, the basic language around lean in that environment and some of the core concepts um, just what that included. That was helpful. Um, the concept she shared on Knowledge Supermarket uh, was something that I had not been familiar with prior to taking that class. And we are in the process now, it was identified as part of our Hoshin planning effort this year, that we currently have a team that's working on trying to figure out how to make our resident knowledge more reusable and to to figure out for ourselves just what a knowledge supermarket might look like. And so that is directly translated into our own initiatives to become a better place to work. I was, I was really surprised at how, um, at how comfortable it ended up being in terms of the format of the class. I thought it worked really well to be an efficient use of people's time, which mattered to me. Um, to not have to pay for travel expense was a huge deal, so it was very economical, very affordable for the value received. And I was surprised by the level of interaction among the people on the calls. Um, I guess I was expecting that it being virtual like that would be a barrier. But we actually had some pretty meaningful discussions and people sharing uh, challenges they're facing and what they're doing in their organizations and that surprised me. But it was very good. We just got through having some detailed discussions about set-based concurrent engineering for example and how that applies to how we design projects and and what our current process is and what are some changes we might want to consider to that process to more closely align with a set-based model. Um, so I've got all kinds of examples like that that I could give about ways that that content is directly impacting what we're doing at Hickson. I think Catherine is one of those people who um, is 
a definite thought leader in this area, in the area of lean product development. She seems to be kind of leading the charge in a number of ways um, and is worth paying attention to for that reason alone. I think she has a lot to offer from her experience, her um, willingness and openness in sharing her knowledge um, makes her someone worth paying attention to. Uh, if you check out her website, you know, that is a powerful knowledge supermarket in and of itself. And for someone who's just getting started in lean or trying to figure out what lean means and might mean for their organization, it's a tremendous resource and a tremendous value because of the quality of the information that is provided there and her willingness to share.